Thai fabric. One of the four basic needs, including house, medicine, food, and wardrobe. It has been created over a thousand years. There's an old saying, during times away from farming, the women weave, the men do ironwork. The work is diligent, from growing to harvesting, dyeing, weaving, and lacing. All crafted by hand. The same hand used in sculpturing, doll making, tattooing, pottery, or making papaya salad. Papaya salad comes from Thailand's northeastern region, like the famous Thai silk. Thai silk uses strands from cocoons of silkworms. The color is like a Thai dessert called phoi tong. Have a taste. Your mood will be smooth as silk. Silkworms are raised on mulberry leaf. They also yield herbs, used to make delicious jam or fancy wine. Thais invented many fabrics by using the nature around us. The patterns are inspired by the mountains, waters, paddy fields, and the waves, depending on the terrain. The color dye comes from local materials, fruits, shells, roots, leaves, and even mud. Mud is used as a facial treatment. Thai fabric is a part of the Thai life. In religion, we offer it to the monks. In marriage, we present it to the elders. We pay respect by draping it on statues, pagodas, spirit houses, trees, boats, tuk -tuk, as talisman for combat, as furniture, for the theater, for making herbal compression balls, for covering the pot that makes Thai snacks, or turning it into the traditional silk dance. Thai fabric, beautiful for the royal ceremony or traditional parade, as headdress in the field, as cradle in the home, wear it to school, for dancing in the street, for the meeting, for the mall. On the plane is also beautiful, like in Milan, Paris, New York, or even on Miss Universe. This is the story of Thai fabric. There are thousands of other stories to discover. Discover your amazing stories in Amazing Thailand.